Hi everyone, it's Marcy Bezeker. I am a coach and manager with Fun Stampers Journey. Why don't you come on in, have a seat, and let's get crafty. Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. Today I'm going to make this card that I have made and people were asking about how to do it. It's super quick, super simple. It, it, it's an amazing quick fast card which I love. Um, I love the new liquid colors so we're going to be showing you those. This stamp set is actually called Night Star. Here is the stamp set, Night Star. And it is one of our hostess exclusives. And I'm going to show you in our holiday catalog. Here's our Journey Holidays catalog. It is full of fun inspiration, and I'll show you a little bit of it. But this card is right here on page eight using this stamp set here, is what we're going to be using. Oh, let me see. Here. There we go. And it's for $300 or more in sales is when you can purchase this stamp set. So the stamp set alone is $8.95 and the dies were only $9.95. That's if you have a $300 party. And if you're interested, I can always open up a party and then you can share the link with people. And when they go in the link, they would just click on your name and order. So if you're a crafter and you have friends that, that craft, do an online party. They can come in, order what they want. It will go towards your party. And that being said, we can keep it open, you know, however long you'd like. And um, usually within a month, I don't want to go over 30 days. And I would suggest maybe starting the 1st of October. And I can go ahead and add, people can just link on to my website. As long as they click on your name, they can go into your party and order from you. So this is a perfect way to get this stamp set and it's gorgeous. So let me show you how this works. Super simple. Um, I'll be honest, I just redid this video. I'm, this is my second time doing it because my battery ran out on my laptop. So here we go again. So you'll see my, my desk is already a mess and ready to go. So I'm going to show you quickly here how to do this video. I also just updated my software on here and that's why my battery went dead. It took a little longer and now all the buttons are in different places and well, we are gonna just get through this together. So here's the card base, your regular A2 card base. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to be stamping on here. This is actually Huckleberry Fusion. Um, the liquid colors I'm going to be using are Catalina Splash and Lovely Blue, but we don't have Huckleberry Fusion, but I really liked the way this color looked. So this is the one I use. So that's those colors don't match, but for me, because we're doing so much embossing on top of it, I'm okay with that. So I'm going to show you okay, evidence. I'm going to use this paper again. So what I want to do is bring in the stamps and I'm going to show you how I did this and I'm going to be embossing in white and in silver. So I'm going to take my clear pigment ink and I'm going to ink up my large star. I like to lay my ink pads like this and lay that on that like that. So that's what I'll do there. I like to also stamp off the edges of the card. I don't like it perfectly in the middle. It depends if I'm doing the whole background in something a little smaller than this. I'll start in the middle and work my way out because I don't want a big bunch of empty spots. And I'm going to look for the, the glare on the light to see where my stamping is here. And of course I just realized I forgot to use my 
my um, colorless blending pan pastel, but I'll show you that on the next stamping that I do here. So I'm just randomly putting these stamps on here, and I think I'm going to go ahead and use the little one this time too. I didn't last time. But I think it would be fun just right here. It might overlap a little, and I'm okay with that. So I'm just going to set those aside for right now. And I'm actually going to do use this white paper, and I'm going to stamp the medium star. So I'm going to go ahead and do that too. Luckily, with the clear pigment ink, this is where this is going to come handy. This is our, it's called our Colorless Blender Pan Pastel. And it's kind of like an embossing buddy, but it does a lot more than that when you use it with Pan Pastel. So it's really got a dual purpose. I'm going to go ahead and do that again. And you can see there's a slight, I don't know if you can see, there's a slight sheen on there. but it really helps from all the static and whatever might be on the paper that holds the, the extra embossing powder on the paper. So another thing I wanted to share with you too is I like to, when I'm using this technique, have a dry embossing powder with you and I will show you so usually at the end of the night when I'm done crafting and I'm done for the night see how there's no embossing powder like on the outsides it's just on the image and that's what really helps that so this one may I may not be so lucky because I forgot to put it on there but that's okay I like to put my embossing powder onto my paper versus scooping up what's left in the tray because to me it, I don't wanna push it off. I want it to lay on where my pigment's at. And even, oh, that worked out good. Look at that little star. It is actually not on the other stars. That's crazy, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp those, but I'm going to go ahead and not stamp them, heat emboss them. And I'm going to go ahead and switch this out to the silver. And this is where if you're doing multiple cards, it's really, really worth doing them at one time. I tend to prefer doing five to 10 cards. If I'm going to be doing cards, especially for Christmas, why not do five to 10 cards at a time? You've got everything out. You've got the colors out, the medias, whatever the mediums are that you're going to be using. That's how I like to do it. But um, for the video, I'm just going to do one. So I'm just going to stamp these. And again, I should have put this on, even though it's going to be, you can see it on the paper, and that's okay. I'm embossing over this, so I'm not really concerned about it. So I'm going to put that on there, and then I'm going to put the silver. So you can see how there's a little bit of embossing powder over here hanging out, probably where my fingerprint was, but nothing over here. It's all nice and clean around that area so those are that's everything that i need to stamp for embossing so before i emboss i'm going to go well i'm going to go ahead and actually emboss because i do not want to bump it and it get all messed up so let me put that away let me wipe these really quickly. I'm going to keep the, that one out for a minute. And I'm going to go ahead and just move these aside. This one, I'm going to do the inside of my card really quick while I have it open. 
I am going to go ahead and do it in the Huckleberry Fusion. I just want to do a fun little, just, just like that. That's all. Oh, look at that. I missed the, the tip. So I'm just going to kind of try and line it up. Just on the tip. Oh, that didn't work. So we're, we're okay. It's like magic. Oh, here we go. So I will do this. Try not to be so fast. Take this. And make sure I get the tips, but not rock it. You don't need to rock it. I just didn't push down very. I was trying to be in a hurry. And so I'm just going to set that one aside. All right. I like that little bit of added. See that later. Like that. All right, so now let's do these really quick. We're going to heat and boss them. And you're going to be able to see they turn shiny and quick. So, can you imagine doing a sheet of these stars and just stamp them all, emboss them, heat them, die cut them, and you're done with all that? Everything else is attached to the face of the, the card of the panel you're going to be attaching. Wait till you see how simple the coloring is. All right, that's done. Okay, let's do this one. I love embossing it, adds so much, but look at these stars, how beautiful they are. I just love the intricacy of the just the little every little pearl on there. Love them. Get a lot of stars, especially at Christmas time, and I like them. I love stars. It's fun because you can use them for a lot of different type of cards. But when they are so pretty like this. This would be really fun for, besides Christmas, you can do it for christening or, you know, wedding, a winter wedding. How gorgeous would these be? You can even do them white like this and just leave it as a pretty background or put a soft, soft color on top of that. All right, we have the one more. Okay. Yay! All right, so I'm going to go ahead and set this aside. This is our clear pigment. Don't need that. Now I'm going to put those aside really quick. I'm going to grab some white paper. In fact, I'm going to choose. I'm going to go ahead and cut this, the one I just boo booed on, and I'm going to use that. So I'm going to use Star of Wonder, and then I'm also going to do Star of Night on the inside. So we have Star of Wonder, and I'm just going to do those in black ink right here. And this is what the one I'm going to cut out. I'm just going to stamp that, I'll set that aside, and then I'm going to take the card base. I'm going to clean this, and use Star of Light. Here. And then I like to line my card up on the grid just so I can know my card straight. I just really do eyeball it. I don't really measure. I just kind of try to make it as straight as I can. People, when they get their cards, the people are going to just be so excited to have a card. If it's a tiny bit off, they're not going to care. 
My kids love getting the cards. I need to send more. I always get uh, busy doing things and I, I, I don't send enough cards. Isn't that crazy? But I will be. Now, here is the fun and magic. So I'm going to color first before I die cut. So what I want to do is I'm going to, I have this old block that I use. And this block is uses every medium you can think of is on here, has been on here. So what I want to do is I'm going to put a little bit of Catalina Splash because, like I said, the Huckleberry does not come in the liquid color yet. We're hoping to get those. So I'm just going to put some on there and then take our dauber. And I like the larger one for this. And I'm going to just, I kind of pull it aside and just kind of, you don't want it like, like you don't want the dark spots. You just kind of want the color. So start in the middle and work your way out. This one's going to be a little different because this one I'm cutting out. So it's not on the top of the card, which is okay. I want it to look like it's on blue paper. You can see on this one, this is the one we're working on. And it kind of looks like the outside's all blue and it looks like it's blue paper. And it's not, it just adds that different depth. Okay, so I mentioned a dry baby wipe. This is why I like to have always have a dry baby wipe. So when I finish crafting for the night, I'll take one baby wipe out and just put it up and let it dry somewhere. But look at the difference right here. Do you see how bright and white your star is here, but it's kind of dingy up there because it still has the liquid color on top of it. So I don't rub it a whole lot. You don't want to like dull your embossing powder. You just want to wipe it enough to, to make it bright. So I'm going to move that one aside now. And I will, where did I put it? Oh, geez right here. So now I'm going to do the same and I'm okay with picking up a little more and you're going to start in the middle and work your way out and just work your way out and work your way out. And it looks like a circle and that's okay because you're going to see once we put the other color on the difference. And so just kind of work it and I just pick up a little more and work it. And just kind of blend it outwards. You want it darker in the middle, lighter on the outside. And darker. And then just go lighter. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to pick up a little bit. You just need a little bit. I always tend to put too much on my block. You do not need that much. Okay. So now I'm going to use my lovely blue a little more on there because I'm going to be finishing the card up on the top here. And this bottle is almost empty. This is my favorite color. I love it for the sky. I love it for so many things. Love, love, love. Okay, so now I'm taking my dauber with my blue my lovely blue and this is what I do is I created a, a laminated a sheet and I put my colors on there and then I Velcro my my daubers on here. And like that one got lovely blue on it, but I have another one too, so that's okay. And then so like I'll take off the Catalina Splash and I'll put it back on here. Then I hang them so they can dry. And it really helps me keep my daubers apart because these are dye based. Our ink pads are dye and pigment fusion. So you don't want to mix them up and then of course there's the pan pastels and that's you can feel that those are pan pastels because they're kind of chalky okay so now you're just going to take this and i tend to start like on here not here and then just kind of go through it is lighter it just depends on the look that you want and it just kind of blends it so I like having the darker spots and the lighter spots. And you can go as dark and light as you want. I, I did do a little darker here and that's okay. You're gonna take your dry baby wipe again and just go over them. Make sure that 
you get that extra color off so that your white can kind of show through. And there you go. So there's that. And I just did that with my white, my dry baby wipe, but that's okay because I'm done with that. Okay, so I'm going to move those aside. Get a new baby wipe, and I, I go through baby wipes like crazy, and that's okay. I prefer to, to use those. Okay, now I'm going to quickly just cut these out. Quick and simple, there's three dies with this, which are your stars. And I just need this bottom, the smaller two. So I'm gonna put this in. You wanna make sure you don't put your, your stamping too close together because you are going to be, let me pull this up a little bit you are going to be die cutting them. And if they're a little bit farther apart, then you can use both dies. And I should have thought about that. I don't know if I'm far enough apart. Okay, and this die is kind of, now this is right, but I have to turn it sometimes. Sometimes I think it doesn't work just right. Um, I think those are too close, so I am not going to do them at the same time. I don't think that's right. I need to find the right spot. There we go. Okay. I'm just going to go forward and backwards because I have stuff in front of me over here and it's going to knock stuff down. So there's one star. One more, and then our white one. We have an amazing special coming up in October, but don't forget in September, we still have our mixed media special. So our pan pastels, our acrylic paints, they are all 20% off right now. So you don't wanna forget that. A couple days left and then in October we have a special and it's going to be planners and I'll show you let me while I'm die cutting since you know how to die cut here's our one of our specials that we're going to be having and there's a lot of fun things that I mean washi tape you can use that on cards it doesn't have to be planners um, the the dots there the words, the tape, all that can be used on regular plan regular cards. But if you're a planner person, this is going to be absolutely perfect for you. And then here's the other one. There's a picture of a lot of our banners and our gel ink pens. Some twine, some washi tape. Gives you a little sneak peek of what's coming up for October what our special is going to be. All right, so now I die cut those stars out. So now what I'm gonna do is I have my card base. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out while I'm right here. And I like to just, there is not a die for the words on the set. So I just kind of, Go around, not exactly close to it, but it doesn't have to be exact. I just like to kind of curve around. You're gonna tuck it in where the stars are, so it's just, no one's gonna look at your exact perfect cutting. So there you go. 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my foam squares on the back. I am going to create a bow. So what I want to do is I'm going to put some of my adhesive liner. And what I like about this adhesive, do you see how, let me see if I can get a picture here. Let's see if I'll focus. The, it has little lines. It has little breaks in between little tiny pieces. So it's really easy to just do like the tiniest. Let me see if I do it on a darker color here. If you can see that. I don't think you can really see that. But... And so it's the tiniest little, little tiny pieces like that. So they're little tiny pieces. So you could put the smallest piece in little areas. Hopefully you can see that okay. But it's amazing because, you know, some of the ones I used to use, you there's no cutting that or, or using just a little piece. It's like all stuck together and a mess. But here's a ribbon. And what I like to do is I like to leave a tail out on this ribbon. So I'm going to make the ribbon like this for my card. I'm going to cut it down here. I'm going to go ahead and make the ribbon. But remember, I left that tail at the beginning. And then I'm going to have a little bit of a tail here. So basically I'm using my fingers as the bow maker, okay? So now, I'm just gonna do my bow like this. And I'm going to put my card like, mm, I'm gonna do it this way. So I'm gonna go ahead and put more tape here. So I'm gonna do it right here. I'm going to use my tape back in the back. I'm going to take this forward and also put it on the tape. Okay, there's a couple of things. I'm, oh, this one I didn't put it on there. Okay, so there's a couple of things at this point I like to do. I will cut a lot of this excess off. Then I'm going to take, I don't have scotch tape with me right here, so I'm going to take this. And I just put it on there just to keep it secure so that my ribbon doesn't go anywhere. I also take a glue dot and I always secure the bow here just so I can play with it, do stuff with it, and I'm okay with that. Now what I'm going to do while I'm at this point is I'm going to take my washi tape. Here's our washi tape holders. There's three of them in a stack that come together and they are amazing. And it has the little cut right there, which is so nice. How many times do you think, oh yeah, I'll use washi tape and you don't because it's just not convenient. Now what I'm gonna do is just kind of slide it underneath the ribbon and just kind of lay it there. And then I'm just going to tuck the edge around and then slide the ribbon back where it was like that just to add some sparkle and you're not going to see all that so don't worry because we're going to put stars there and stuff so there is that now i'm going to take some white twine and cut it and i'm going to take some of our silver tinsel and you get four yards and everything that i'm using will be listed below so don't worry about that you can just click on it it'll show you the price and everything when it takes you to the link so what I like to do is I don't like to just cut because you'll get a lot of little pieces everywhere. I just like to kind of go in and cut. You're still going to get that, but you're not going to get a, as much as you would if you did it the other way. So what I'm going to do is go under. Remember, you put that glue dot there, so you're going to go over to the side just a bit. And you could do this before the glue dot, and that, that's fine too, whatever you like to do. I like for it to kind of be in place when I'm doing this. It's just a little easier. 
So I'm just going to wrap my bow around my twine here and tighten it in the center as much as possible. And then I'm just going to tie a bow. I don't tie it in a double knot. Um, I don't really think you need to, as long as your bow is snug. And then I just kind of lay it down. And I want this one kind of loopy. I did this one a little more, um, you know, here's the little bow on top of this bow. But I want this one a little more artsy. So I'm just going to do that. Put the extra, not too, too much. This is up at the top, and I'm okay with that. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to take off my foam. I have my phone squares ready. I have my card base. Just going to put it down here. Now I have my stars that I cut out. I want my phone squares. One is plenty. And that's my silver. I start with my white one. And I just kind of tuck it in there. And then my silver, I'll put it here and I'll put it under. And kind of out like that. And it's wherever you feel comfortable, wherever you want them. It's not a big deal. I tend to lean towards the larger foam squares, even on the smaller pieces, as long as you don't see it. I just feel it has a little more security by that. And now this one, I'm even going to put a large one. And then I have these little ones here. I'll just put a little one out here and a little one up here. And I just want to tuck that in kind of just right there. And you have the ribbon and the bow and all of that, but it's in there. Okay. Slide all that over. All right, now one more thing, very important, is the silk. I love, 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 love the silk. I kind of move everything out of the way when you're doing a silk because it will get messy. So here's the silver silk, and it's just like nail polish. Not as messy as the splashes, and I just want to make sure it gets a little everywhere. I'm okay with a little extra. I'm okay with bigger globs. I'm okay. I'm okay. I love it. And the sparkle silk is my absolute. I'm just going to sparkle it all up. You want to make sure you get it everywhere. And there you go. Card done. Inside stamped. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a little bit right here. There you go. And it went up that way, and that's okay. I'm okay with that. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Sparkle, sparkle. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. So here's the one I did before. Here's the one I did now. You can change it up. You can do whatever. This one's traveled quite a bit with me and been in an envelope and squished. And because I uh, was showing people, took it to a class. And so there you go. So that's super fun. So what I wanted to tell you too is um, again, Here's the special for October, $24.95. It's over a $40 value, and you get these amazing things. These are really nice um, pouches that you can keep your mixed media items in. And then here are your planners over here. And 25% off, not 20. This month is mixed media for 20. This is going to be 25% off. How cool is that? 
So again, if you go to my website up here at the top, you can click at the top, it says catalogs, and you can look at the um, two current catalogs that we have. One is our main catalog, 364 pages of loveliness. It's got ideas and stamp sets and just, oh, you can't see from the glare. All kinds of fun stuff in it. I just, I can't even tell you enough of how wonderful samples and just different things in it. And so there's that one. And then we have this holiday, a journey holiday catalog. And it has some really fun, fun things. Look at this. It's called snow frames. I'll do something with that soon because I really like it. And they're dies. And you can do, can you imagine a photo card with one of, with these? And you can make a Christmas card with a photo. And then there's another set I think I showed before, which is one of my favorites. And it. Of course, I can't find it. But it's beautiful. Oh, but while I'm here, look at this paper. Through the years, this paper has every holiday kind of paper in it. Every, let me show you this way. It's going to be a little easier. So this is the holiday paper. And so for $16.95, two each of 12 different sheets and they're double sided and it has all kinds of fun holiday things now i am like most where i hoard the paper and i don't use it and this is an amazing way to use the paper this is a gift card pouch which i created one here and I put one of our tags in it. And it's just a super cute. Put your gift card in there. Let's see what I have. And you just put your card in, and it's a perfect gift. Here's a card. And you just put it in there, and you can put it on the tree. It goes in all the way, or add it to a gift, or whatever card whatever you want super cute here's a tag here so that's fun and the set i wanted to show you and you're getting to look at the catalog is the christmas christmas tree And I've showed the catalog before, so I'm sure. You know what? I'm looking in the wrong book. It is in our large catalog. Look how beautiful that set is. And it comes with dies. And it says Merry Christmas. I love it. So I just wanted to show you that, how cute that is. And it gives you all different samples of different cards and stamp sets. But anyway, I just wanted to show you that quickly. There's just so many things to show, so many things to share. If there's something you want to see, anything specific, a stamp set you want to see used, let me know. Like I said, go to the website above. It says catalogs. You can click on it and take a look and look around, see what you like. And if you have anything that you're at, you know curious what it is or or how it works, let me know and I'll, I'll be glad to um, either put it in a video or do a bit video about it and um, show you what it is. So I appreciate you um, taking the time to watch my video. If you could hit the like, I greatly appreciate it and subscribe, you'll get notified of future videos and that would be fantastic too. I hope you have an amazing day and I will talk to you soon.